Hey guys, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to an extra special, extra winnings uh, here with Party Match. It's going to be a really, really, really special show today. Uh, I'm Suhail Chandok, your host, as you guys know by now. Uh, we've had a few amazing sessions so far with uh, Robin and today we're going to be joined by someone special too. It's not just going to be Robin, but we've got another man who is worth watching and worth waiting for because uh, we've sort of given you a clue, a few clues about it. I'm just going to try and find Robin in the meantime and we'll then get... There's a lot to talk about and I know uh, Robin's got a lot to add as well. Your insights have come from him through this entire course. Hey, Robbie. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Good, man. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Likewise. You've been well? It's, uh, it's going to be a, a special show. We're not giving away yet who's going to be on it. I know we've, we've all dropped hints. Uh, we all know he's a, he's a dangerous quick bowler, Robin. I know he's, he's someone you face and been a teammate of. Go ahead. Don't, don't, I, don't. I'm talk. sorry. I have, to, I have to warn you. I was putting my hand up to talk like how we do in class. So basically, I have to tell you, I have to like straight off the bat inform you that <laughs> I'm in Trivandrum. Then the hotel that I'm actually staying at. <laughs> Don't worry. Language. We're not going to say it. We're not going to say it. Don't worry. <laughs> worst comes to worst. I'm actually, in, I'm in Singapore for a change and I'm banking on my friend's internet connection here. So it's okay. So we're, okay. we're going to, we're going to try and like balance out the two speeds with the high speed and the Trivandrum speed and then find a way through Robin. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Here that's it. We're just going to cross all fingers, toes. Uh, so far, so good. Looking good, man. Looking good. But Robin, firstly, congratulations on your bang on prediction once again. With the India Australia series, you predicted two one. Yes, again it was two one. But what was your your thoughts on that entire series? Uh, you know, obviously a lot of your insights helped our audiences make their right uh, predictions as well. But just your take on that series? Well, see, it was an interesting series. Uh, I thought India played really well. I, the, I thought there were a lot of a lot of boxes that were ticked. I think as far as batting was concerned, I think a lot of those boxes were ticked. So I think move, uh, for the team moving forward especially as far as the preparation for the World Cup is concerned. I think beating uh, the World Cup winners, defending champions, uh, was very, very, very um, important. Uh, yeah. And a, a massive confidence booster as well. I think uh, we've generally done well in bilateral series, but I think before going into a, a tournament like the World Cup, to have that confidence going your way is important. But at the end of that series, it gave, uh, it gave India a few things to think about. Uh, it gave them uh, a, a few opportunities to work on and still finish as far as, uh, you know, the uh, the preparation for the World Cup is concerned. Uh, one out of which was addressed yesterday. So, yeah, so yeah uh, lots, you know, lots, us, lots of positives, but lots more to go. Yeah, speaking of those positives, we were saying that we were saying that, you know, Indian top order for a little more time in the center. Mein. And in that series, mein, Rohit Sharma had runs. Aaye the, uh, KL Rahul got runs as well. Aksar Patel did a great job as a replacement for Jaddu as well. What for you was the biggest takeaway, Robin, from that India-Australia series? For me, Akshar Patel's performance and Hardik Pandya's performance. Both of them did a great series in that series. In fact, I thought that Akshar Patel was owning his position. Abhi, yeah. uh, he didn't have the whole thing of, you know, usko one off game mil raha hai, to usko perform yeah. karna hai. Abhi, it felt like the confidence was there and Akshar owned his place. And uh, wo confidence ki wajay se, I felt we saw him thrive. And yeah. uh, Hardik Pandya, man, I think he's really come into yeah. his own. And I uh, remember uh, ki post match, uh, post with the Tisra Wala match, we were talking about it with him and he told us that wo mehnat kaise kiya tha kyun kiya tha aur you know how he felt that you know when he was playing for india and he couldn't bowl and he felt like yeah. he didn't feel great about himself so uh, he decided ki main break lena chahunga aur i'll you know work work on my fitness and and you know if you if you think i'm still good enough you can pick me up in the yeah. side again and he yeah. proved that ki uh, mehnat kiya usne teen mahine ke liye and we've seen ki abhi kaise bowling kar raha hai and he understands his body um, abhi gaya hai NCA mein, uh, practice yeah. karne ke liye, to, you know, practice nahin, actually train karne ke liye, taki jab tak World Cup aaye, wo fresh rahega aur thoda strength pe kaam uh, kiya hoga, to he'll be able to go out there and perform with the best of his ability. Yeah, he's been exceptional to watch. Uh, let's just go, you know, ek ek match se, uh, Robin, kyunki mm -hmm. wo pehle match mein jo the, uh, 208 runs score karke, fir humne haare the Australia se. What do you think went wrong in, in that encounter? 
देखिए ऑस्ट्रेलिया वाले सीरीज में ना बोलिंग की थोड़ी आ, मतलब कंसर्न्स थे आ, कि आ, आ, हमारा डेप बोलिंग क्लिक नहीं हो रहा है नई बॉल से बॉल ज्यादा स्विंग नहीं हो रहा था पर ये भी मान के चलना पड़ेगा कि यार हम लोग मोहाली में खेल रहे थे विकेट्स बहुत फ्लैट थे हर हर वेन्यू में विकेट्स बहुत फ्लैट थे और ड्यू का भी फैक्टर था तो बॉल स्विंग नहीं हो रहा था Uh, yeah. हमारे स्पिनर्स को मतलब ग्रिप uh, ग्रिप करने को मुश्किल हो रहा था इनफैक्ट चहल से बात हुई थी मेरी और उसने बताया कि यार भैया मैं ट्राई कर रहा हूँ ग्रिप करने के लिए पर बहुत गीला है तो ग्रिप नहीं yeah. कर पा रहा हूँ सो एंड देन द मिनट वी सॉ दैट ही बोल्ड इन ड्राई कंडीशंस व्हेन कंडीशन टॉस कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट यू नो इट फेल्ट ग्रैंड मास्टर इज बैक यू नो एंड एंड सो प्लीजिंग टू सी हेम बोल्ड विद सो मच कंट्रोल एंड uh, मुझे पता था कि यार अश्विन को शायद उस सीरीज में चांस नहीं मिलने वाला क्योंकि दे वांट टू गेट यू नो यूजी बैक इन फॉर्म एंड यू नो दे वर एबल टू डू दैट एंड उसके बाद वी हैव सीन आई थिंक दी बोलिंग वर दी ओनली कंसर्न्स दैट वर देयर एंड आई थिंक दैट्स बीन एलिविएटेड टू अ सर्टेन एक्सटेंट आफ्टर यस या या एंड यू नो इट्स फनी क्योंकि वो पहले मैच के बाद uh, वो 8 ओवर का मैच जो थे दैट वाज एन एंटरटेनर Uh, and then we had a true proper match to yaar ban gaya tha kyunki yaar wahan pe na log jitne aaye the nagpur mein correct galat hoti to agar agar hum match match nahi the wahan pe aur you have to give it to the groundsmen the yeah. amount that they worked hard bahut hi zyada mehnat kiye wahan pe match yeah. banane ke liye matlab just uh, yeah. और हमको आठ नहीं दस ओवर भी खिला सकते थे पर एवरी स्टिकिंग बाय द आईसीसी रूल्स नहीं सो दे 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 प्लेड ओनली एट ओवर्स पर कुडोस टू द ग्राउंड स्टाफ एट नागपुर द विदर्भा क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन एंड द द क्राउड्स दैट केम आउट यार बहुत ही पेशेंटली वेट किए कुछ म्यूजिक नहीं था कुछ एंटरटेनमेंट नहीं था वो लोग वहां पे बैठे थे दो घंटे के लिए दो तीन घंटे के लिए और बस शांति से दे वजह देर एंड देर वेटिंग फॉर क्रिकेट टू है और ये चीज होती है जब जहां हम छोटे शहरों में जाते हैं ना तो ये देखने को मिलता है वो प्योर पैशन देखने को मिलता है वहां पे अमेजिंग अगर हम पैशन के बारे में हम बात करें तो थर्ड ओडिया थर्ड टी ट्वेंटी इंटरनेशनल के बारे में हम बात करना ही पड़ेगा क्योंकि उस मैच में एक सीरीज डिसाइडर में We actually got true proper cricket, right? It went all the way. Uh, the best team won in the end. We can say, but what a way to finish the series versus Australia. Ha. In fact, बहुत ही अच्छा cricket खेले थे हम हम लोगों ने उस match में. एक सौ सी तो बनना ही था उस wicket पे क्योंकि Hyderabad का wicket बहुत ही flat वाला wicket है और ज़्यादा bowler के लिए है नहीं. So I wouldn't think overthink about India's bowling उस match में. But it'll be it'll be a very similar wicket to what is available and what are. In play in Australia, तो मुझे yeah. लगता है कि वहाँ पे उस match का bowling performance को ज़्यादा seriously नहीं लेनी चाहिए पर the batting the batting in the way in which we batted the 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 batting uh, yeah the the rhythm in the batting the flow in the batting was just amazing to watch um, just Virat Kohli's innings the way he paced it the maturity with which he played second fiddle to Uh, a person who's far junior to him, Surya Kumar Yadav. Surya's Correct. innings, yar, wo innings. Oh, yeah, I just, I have to, yeah, I just want to talk about that man because Sky Joe bhi hai. मतलब Sky is not even the limit for him. The way he's batting at the moment, Robin, uh, he's cutting it to all parts. He's hitting good deliveries for six. I mean, how special a talent is he? Yeah, बहुत ही special talent है और in fact बहुत ही बेहतरीन ले से चल रहा है इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हिज लाइफ एट द मोमेंट और वो ना फील्ड खेलता है वो ऐसे नहीं कि यार मैं इधर ही रन बनाऊंगा वो मतलब पूरा ग्राउंड अवेलेबल है उसको जहां पे फील्डर अंदर है उसके ऊपर ही मारना है मुझे yeah. चाहे जो भी बोलिंग कर रहे हैं मेरे को तो दैट्स द दैट्स द माइंड सेट इन व्हिच ही अप्रोचेस हिज क्रिकेट एंड दैट्स व्हाट आई विटनेस इन एंड एंड जस्ट वाचिंग हिम प्ले यू कैन सी दैट ही इज ऑलवेज हिटिंग द बॉल इन द गैप्स सो ही इज वेरी कॉग्निसेंट ऑफ गैप्स कहां पे है तो ये ये फील्डर आगे आ गया तो मैं स्टेप आउट करके इसको इधर मारने वाला हूं स्पेशली वो आई डोंट नो इफ यू रिमेंबर वो जॉश हेजलवुड को स्टेप आउट करके मिड ऑफ के ऊपर एक छक्का मारा या माय गॉड आई कैन नॉट टेल यू हाउ डिफिकल्ट दैट शॉट इज एंड टू बी एबल टू पुल इट ऑफ टू वन ऑफ द आई एम करेंटली वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड फिनोमेनल शॉट जस्ट it is just a testimony of what great form suri kumar is in yeah it's true you know and, and as you said that's a big tick for the batting virat also coming back into form lekin 
बोलिंग डिपार्टमेंट में भी कल अगर हम उस मैच के बारे में हम बात करें थोड़े से तो अशदीप सिंह यू नो वी बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट हिम एंड हाउ ही इज बिन एक्सिलेंट एट द डेथ बट ऑल्सो विद न्यू बॉल नाउ रॉबिन हाउ बिग मूव इज दैट फॉर इंडिया अगर अशदीप ऐसे बोलिंग करें तो गोइंग इन द वर्ल्ड कप मुझे पता नहीं कि आपको याद है कि नहीं पर मैंने बताया था इन फैक्ट आई नो आई नो लाइव्स दैट यार ये नया नया बॉल से भी बहुत ही अच्छा बोलिंग करता है Correct. यहां पे चला नहीं है एशिया कप में पर ही इज अ वेरी गुड न्यू बॉल बोलर और वो कल दिखा दिया कि उसका न्यू बॉल का स्किल्स कितना है वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट आई थिंक ऑल द व्यूअर्स हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट जब uh, एक टीम टूर कर रही होती है तो yeah. उस टीम को प्लेयर्स को ना सिर्फ अपनी स्ट्रेंथ को मेंटेन कर सकते हैं इंप्रूव नहीं कर सकते और वो ट्रेनिंग नहीं कर सकते जब वो ट्रेनिंग करते हैं तो बेसिकली रिकवरी के लिए ट्रेनिंग करते हैं या right. थोड़ा सा स्ट्रेंथ मेंटेन कर ले करने के लिए ट्रेनिंग करते हैं दे के नॉट वर्क ऑन स्ट्रेंथ इंप्रूवमेंट और जब yeah. हम टोर पे जाते हैं जब प्लेयर्स टोर्स पे जाते हैं तो स्ट्रेंथ गिर जाता है द स्ट्रेंथ ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज ऑफ ट्रेवल एंड रिकवरी एंड ट्रेवल एंड रिकवरी the the uh, what is that the uh, strength drops so yeah. especially fast bowlers ke liye bahut effect hota hai kyunki unka pace kam ho jata hai to unka pace yeah. matlab so even if you try wo zip nahi milti aur exactly yeah. what happened to say uh, is that's happened to uh, uh, to arshdeep that hap- that's happened to bhuvi kyunki bhuvi sabse zyada matches khele hain abhi uh, pichle ek saal mein to uh, he's also gone back gone to the nca to work on his Uh, strength to 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 refresh himself so that he comes back refreshed with a little bit more zip that we see from Bhuvi, which we felt was missing. Uh, Hardik's doing the same, so it's so great to see that Arshdeep went away, took a break, came back, and that zip is there. You can see the same zip in Deepak Chahar's bowling, which is so pleasing yeah. to watch. Yeah, it's it's incredible to watch, and actually the fast bowling stocks uh, for Team India are rising with every series. I think that's very very safe to say. Uh, but you know. one thing we can also perhaps say robin is that uh, ashdeep a future star banna matlab banne ka chance hai kyunki uh, white ball cricket mein we not seen someone as a left armer have an impact so early in his career i mean khalil ke bare mein agar hum matlab sochenge to khalil was the last one perhaps right nahi rp singh bhi the uh, yeah to uh, before that yeah no in fact and in fact rp before Irfan but i mean like for a while since LAP. khalil no one i guess ha huh, as in Uh, after Irfan and RP, uh, perhaps and Zach Bai, uh, obviously, yeah. Zahir Bai before them. I mean, I mean, of course, yeah. Zahir Bai is the epitome, uh, but yeah, you know, he's he's the one who set the standard, and these guys have yeah. set the standard. And uh, after that, I think uh, uh, we've had a few who who come and gone. Khalil's had the potential to become a great fast bowler. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, he's not uh, in the mix. Uh, another guy, another one I've just noticed is that Mohsin Khan uh, is a yeah. an extremely talented fast bowler, um, and he can be more than a handful. I'm quite, I was quite surprised he didn't find uh, favor in, with the selectors uh, yeah. after the IPL this year. Man, kafi, मतलब he was uh, superb. Yeah, हाँ, he was very, very effective. यार, वो बहुत ही अच्छा bowler है और uh, unassuming bowler है. हमको नहीं लगता कि इतना तेज डालने वाला है, पर बहुत तेज डालता है. In fact, he's got उनका short ball बहुत ही effective short ball है. जब वो शॉर्ट बॉल करते हैं तो लगता है कि यार बैट पे आके लगता है तो यू नो इट्स नॉट इजी टू प्ले फॉर अ बैटर तो कीपिंग तो सॉरी कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड डेफिनेटली अर्शदीप इज गॉट पोटेंशियल टू बी द नेक्स्ट लेफ्ट आर्म फास्ट बॉलर इंडिया से पर बहुत यंग है यार हम लोग ना कभी कभार हमको भी सोचना चाहिए कि डेढ़ सौ करोड़ लोगों का मतलब उम्मीदें और आशाएं वे पुटिंग ऑफ दिस पीपल सो इट्स इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू गिव देम अ लिटिल टाइम तो आई फील लाइक ही इज यू नो ही इज ही इज अ गुड वेरी वेरी गुड फास्ट बॉलर एंड ही इज अ वेरी इफेक्टिव फास्ट बॉलर समवन हुज हु वांट्स बिग चैलेंजेस सो फॉर मी आई फील लाइक वी विल सी अ लॉट ऑफ हिम एंड ही इज जस्ट 21 सो वील गिव हिम टाइम ही he has to go through different things in different parts of his own journey as a cricket as a fast bowler and as a cricketer so he will i think we will see a lot more of him in time yeah you know we're speaking about fast bowlers and i like the fact that he's going to reveal himself in this way because uh, we still yeah. aren't sure who is staying on our screens yet uh, there's a bit of flutter there's a bit of you know there's there's a lot going on there as there is normally with his fast bowling uh, we eventually going to see uh, a special guest on this special episode of uh, of extra winnings 
trying to see if he can join us to try and get that He's feed us. sorted. I'm on now. Yeah, I'm on. Well, I, I've, I've only got like a like a weird feed of of not your face, Dale. Somehow. I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's not that's not good. Can I come <laughs> I, mean, I, yeah, I, I can see. Stinky, how you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm good. And you, Robbie, how's it? Good man. Good. Very good. Thanks. Uh, Dale, can I just get you to log off and log back in for some reason? Sure. Okay. I'm going to do that. I got to really send him an invite again. I'll send you another invite. I'm just going to send him another invite. I know you guys got a glimpse of him, but our buddy match page doesn't quite have Dale's face yet. So we'll get in there. We like to see his face as well. Um, there we go. We Try got again. him back on this time. Uh, and uh, guys, it, it is so great to have uh, another top man, uh, just a great uh, guy, great cricketer, on with us on Extra Winnings. Uh, Dale, welcome to Extra Winnings here with Parimatch. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, I'm good. I can't complain. Um, although it would have been better if South Africa put some, some more runs on the board yesterday. Than, you know. That was a tough wicket, Steve. <laughs> that was a tough wicket, brother. See, I was it being good at not bringing it up, way. Dale. It looked, it looked rough. I mean, look, to be fair, hey, the, the boys... Chahal, um, Chahal, sorry, and uh, Asti bowled, bowled pretty well, eh? Like, yeah. if you're going to swing the ball like that, I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Now, guys, I know you both know each other pretty well. You've played in the same team at RCB back in 2010 as well. Uh, what's something that you've really appreciated, admired about uh, Robin Dale? You know what? I always, Robbie, I don't even know if I told you this, but I always admired, like, his courage. So, like, one of my first memories, one of my fondest memories, I'm going to be honest with you, is watching you hit Brett Lee back over his head, like, straight bat, like that. Like, <laughs> that takes a bit of courage, you know, to, to take on a fast bowler like that and hit him straight back over his head. And there was a period there with RCB. And even after that, I just thought, like, this guy looks like he is playing the cricket that he should be playing, you know. And it was yeah, like, yeah. I, I feel like it was, it was from that one shot. Like he played that one shot of Bradley and all of a sudden it like it turned and he just started to become, yeah. you know, one of these guys that everyone like their eyebrows went up and were like, okay, cool. You know, this guy can play, you know? And then as yeah. soon as you drop a little bit short, he was back on the back foot. But like that, that just it took a little bit of courage. And then from that point on, it was like a whole different Robin Utipa, if that makes sense. I don't know. But I just felt yeah. like that. I saw that. Yeah. Robbie, what was something Thanks, that you David. always looked at Dale and sort of admired? Because clearly there's a, there's a bit of a fanboy in Dale when it comes to your batting as well. So <laughs> I have proof that uh, that this, <laughs> this this finger is proof of what Dale's done to me at RCB. So my two years at RCB, we were together. Uh, I was keeping the stain the whole time. Uh, and, the, and, and in those two seasons, I actually... Uh, in my keeping, while keeping the stain, I've actually uh, dislocated his finger multiple times. Uh, oh man! Had to, yeah, and had to eventually go through surgery. So this is uh, this is something I'll always remember. <laughs> That's not you. You've left a lasting memory, Dale. I hope you like that. He was not just fast for the batters out there. He was fast even for uh, for us wicket keepers. <laughs> <laughs> what is the hardest part? I should pay for your medical bills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just tell me the boss. Don't no, tell the team. Just tell us straight to Dale. <laughs> what is the hardest part, though, Robin, to to face Dale, someone like him? Uh, well, I think uh, as he as he got more experienced, I felt like uh, he really found a way to uh, utilize his pace and vary his pace. And I thought that became yeah. very dangerous. Uh, the way he changed his pace, so he had he had a very deceptive kind of he had a slider that he would just roll his fingers over. Uh, and yeah. you have to be you have to watch the ball very carefully. And his his arm speed was gun. Like yeah. you know, it was so fast that you'd have to, uh, you know, if you were slightly late on your setup, you knew you were behind the eight ball, and you were just yeah. hoping and praying that you'd survive. You know, and that's there's the, a reason. So, there's a reason a lot of guys on our chat are saying stain gun. I think uh, it comes straight into our, our minds as well. But guys, I know we're short on time, so we're going to jump straight into our first segment, which is our party match predictions. Uh, there are going to be a few tricky ones in here, Dale. And I know it wasn't the best start for South Africa yesterday. We won't go backwards. We look forward and try and stay positive for your sake as well. Uh, but given that India won the first match yesterday, uh, Dave, we'll start with you. Who do you think is going to win the series, India-South Africa? I think India will win the series. I think South Africa yeah. is just on the back foot. I was listening to what they were saying yesterday in the press conference and they, they kind of didn't expect the pitch to play like that. 
And I think when yeah. you go into games, when, you, when your mindset is not quite prepared for every possible scenario, then you kind of, like Robbie said, you're behind the eight ball. You know, I'm going to use that saying. Yeah. And, you know, for a South African team that, that is, it comes from conditions like South Africa, where seeming and swinging conditions to go to India and then not yeah. be better at it than the Indians, that's, that's kind of concerning for me. I, I'm a little bit like, you know, a little bit worried yeah. that the batters weren't able um, to, to handle those conditions. Um, yeah. So I'd say straight away, I think that they, they're a little bit confused to what, what potentially lies ahead. You know, could the next yeah. pitch be a spinning wicket? Could, be, could it be a flat mm -hmm. deck? Could it be another seamer? So if they've got that mindset, then, then I don't think they're quite prepared for this tour, you know, um, yeah. if, I, if I should say that. But so I'd say yeah. that India are going to be overall, oh, my dog just had a nice big sneeze. See? Um, <laughs> Love it. I'd say that I'd say India are going to win the series. Uh, and I, I'd hope that South Africa would at least win one of the games. Um, yeah. But I think India will win the series. Yeah. Robbie, what's your take? Uh, you predicted 2-1 uh, correctly with the India-Australia series. What's your call here? I think 2-1 as well. Uh, in yeah. fact, I feel it, it, uh, I don't know what's going to happen in the next game because I, in the next game, they're, they're predicting rain. Uh, yeah. Because, uh, some, uh, some late monsoon showers are predicted in that, that part of the country. So, yeah. I don't know if we're going to have a game or not. We'll know uh, in a couple of days. But, but from between the 28th uh, to the 4th, there's, the, there's predicted Maybe rain another 8 over Blitzkrieg, Robbie. Yeah, I think that would. <laughs> you don't want that because people have waited for a long time in India to for the matches to happen in this part, this these parts of the country. So, uh, I definitely say two one to India. For having said that, yeah. I feel like no one anticipated the wicket is going to play that way. To be honest, yesterday, yeah. uh, everyone felt it was going to be a, a high scoring game. They felt the grass cover was just to kind of hold the wicket together, which was a fact. But I. I actually predicted, I didn't think it was going to be a high-scoring game. I said, at best, it might be a 150 game if they bat really well. But I yeah. knew the wicket. I played here. And, you know, I played. I finished my first-class career at, at Kerala. And I know that oh, no, on that yeah. wicket, it's very, very hard to, to score runs. It's it's yeah. more of a bowler-friendly kind of pitch. And I wasn't surprised that they, they got that much out of it. The ball is literally, it was like cutting. It wasn't seeming. Yeah. It was like that much yeah. movement off the wicket. It was jagging, yeah. Uh, guys, we're going to go into some too early to call predictions. Uh, I know this is going to be a bit harder than what you just predicted. But, uh, Dale, your very early to call predictions at Paris Match here of the finalists of the World Cup? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> such a, that's such a tough one. I think there's so many teams. You, you, you can't leave Australia out because yeah. they play so well in their home country. Um, it's tough to leave India out because they're so good. Pakistan yeah. have been really good, and then I'm obviously I'm I'm you know I'm South African, so I'm patriotic towards my South African boys. So uh, this prediction is just a wild prediction. It's a hope prediction more than anything. Hit us, hit us. I'm gonna go with something different this World Cup. I'm gonna go with Pakistan South Africa final. The Greens. Ooh. The Greens. Interesting. You know, um, Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, Robbie, where are you going? Man, if it's a Pakistan South Africa final, India don't even qualify to the second stage. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> that's that's a that's a brave prediction. Uh, yeah, but, we got two uh, in the group. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're all in the same group. Correct. India, oh Pakistan, my gosh. Okay, I didn't know that we we're all in the same group. See, that 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 shows me I'm a little bit behind on it then. So, um, so there's basically there's India, Pakistan, South Africa, and Bangladesh in the same group. Uh, well, and then then there's an, the another team, group. that qualifying team that comes right. Yeah, 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 and qualify. Yeah, correct. Between West Indies or Sri Lanka, one of those teams yeah. will be there. Well, it's still, it's still a possibility. Let's be honest. So you never know. No, it's yeah, a possibility. It's a possibility. But let me let me let me change it. Then. Let me go South Africa, Australia. South Africa, Australia. Okay. South Africa, Australia. We'll throw that. a bit of yellow in there. Why not? Throw a little bit of yellow yeah. in there. Fine. We'll go with that. We'll go with yeah. that. Robbie, for you? Yeah. I would go. Uh, actually, man, it's actually a very tough call. Like, I hate making these predictions so far away from a tournament, but. I'd say uh, Australia because Australia find a way to turn up in a, in an ICC tournament. They always have. Yeah. So for me, Australia and uh, I'll back India to, to to get there as well. Nice. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna then go one step further, guys. Your prediction, very early to call prediction again for the winners of the World Cup. Dale. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. Oh, Robin has gone. Man. Come on. That's, that's, that's where he draws the line. <laughs> the, the prediction and, and hoping is, is, 
is where I'm at right now. So I'm hoping South Africa wins the World Cup. I, I'm, I'm just, yeah. I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping this year the to win the World Cup. So I want a new winner. Yeah. I want a new winner. That's what I want. I want to see somebody else win yeah. this, this 2020 World Cup. And I want to see the game grow. I don't want to see the same people yeah. being in the finals the whole time and the same team. Yeah. I want to see... I want to see new people being encouraged to play the game. So I'm going, I'm going with South Africa. I want next year, I want more kids to be playing. I want to be pushed further and bigger and better. South Africa. Nice. Okay. Love it. Uh, Robert, do you have an answer? Or are you just going to stay on the fence and you're going to call sit this one out? I'll, I'll, I'll sit this one out, bro. Okay. That's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, come to you. I'll, I'll, I'll let you stay in the safe zone there. Stay comfy because I come to you on the dark horses. As Dale said, right? We want to see the game grow. We want to see a few surprises. Who do you think could be the surprise element of the T20 World Cup? Uh, for me, Sri Lanka. I think yeah. they're, a, they're an underrated side. They've done exceptionally well in the Asia Cup. Um, and they've, 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 I think they have the full side at the moment. So for me, Sri Lanka, I think they'll definitely yeah. qualify. Uh, they'll go get past the qualifiers and get the 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 main draw and I think they'll be a dangerous side. Nice, uh, Dale. For you, yeah, I'm backing what Robbie said there. Actually, Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. I, I I fully agree with him there, and that was my thinking too. I think they're playing good cricket right now. Yeah. Kind of flying under the radar a little bit, and um, mm. they've got that surprise element. And they've always been a good team. They've always, especially in World yeah. Cups, they somehow always yeah. seem to find themselves in semi-finals, finals, and everything. And this year. Uh, could be another a could could be another surprise one from them. Yeah, they're hot with confidence off the Asia Cup as well, and, and a bunch of good guys. I think the country, the country needs it in terms of the spirit as well, given the the hardships they faced over the last twelve months. So it'll be a phenomenal story, uh, guys. With the batsmen and the bowlers, uh, Robbie, maybe you with the batsmen. We go to Dale with the bowlers. Two batsmen, Robbie, that you think will light up the World Cup this time. Suri Kumar Yadav, for sure. Yeah, um, and Mohammad Rizwan. Nice, yeah, he's been an exceptional touch. The top two guys in the world at the moment as well. Uh, Dale, two bowlers that you want to keep your eye on, or everyone else should keep their eyes on as well. Um, I'll go with the quicks because I'm a quick. Yeah, so I think Mitchell Stark. Um, yeah, he could be really good. You know, he's Australian. He plays there all the time. He opens the bowling. He's in the bowl at the death, so he's in the, he's going to be in the wickets. Um, and then from uh, just another one, I think KG Rabada. I think he's, uh, mm, yeah. he, he's he's looking good, you know, and and mm. he bowls well in Australian conditions. Every time he goes to Australia, he does really well. Touch wood, but um, yeah, those two guys. Keep an eye on them. Awesome, yeah. Can't wait to see how uh, that goes. Again, Rabada, great guy uh, to sort of see come through as well over the years, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a massive influence from him if South Africa are to go through the finals, uh, Dale. And speaking of that group, right, you've got India, Pakistan, South Africa, uh, Bangladesh, and as Robbie said, a qualifier in there. Who do you guys think could be the top two teams, Robin? Uh, there's India, Pakistan, South Africa, obviously vying for a spot there. Uh, two, or two teams out of those four or five. Your call? Oh, man. <laughs> this is, again, a tough call. Um, I definitely go India uh, between Pakistan and South Africa, to be honest. Yeah, uh, because both Just of pick, them. Really I, I, I genuinely South believe that South Africa have uh, one of the best best bowling sides going around. Um, uh, I, yeah. I love their bowling side. I think they've got a very dangerous bowling lineup. Uh, I think their batting can be slightly better, but I think their bowling's gone. Um, yeah. So for me, and I believe T20 cricket's won by teams that bowl better, honestly. Yeah. Um, seldom do we come across matches like yesterday where, uh, you know, the bowlers have everything going their way and the, it's the batters who have to kind of play out of their skins to win a game, right? Yeah. Um, so for me, I'd say uh, India and between Pakistan and South Africa. I can't pick one between <laughs> the two. Uh, Dale, quickly from you, two teams from that group. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same with Robbie. Um, those, are, those are the three teams, you know, South Africa, India, yeah. Pakistan. It's going to be tough to. Oh, it's going to, it's going to boil down to a game, yeah, or a point, or a net mm. run rate, or something, as it always does, you know. Um, yeah. And uh, it's going to be difficult. But I mean, if I'm backing South Africa to go through and win the tournament, then I'm hoping yeah. they'll go through there, obviously. And then, like I said, yeah. I'm with Robbie on that. Then it's, then it's going to be a gunfight between. It's just going to be a yeah. gunfight between those three three teams to get through. Really, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. going to be it's going to be really difficult. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, and, but, you know, speak, speaking of that rivalry, guys, I mean, it's, it's, it was intense at the Asia Cup as well. And, and uh, it's going to be more intense when it comes to the World Cup too, Robin. But uh, a one-word answer on India versus Pakistan. Who's going to win that? India. Dale, for you? Um, India will get uh, some revenge back from the last one. I think India will take Interesting. it. Interesting. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what about India, South Africa? Will uh, South Africa get some revenge back, Dale, when they take on each other? I think they're going to lose this series. I think they'll get their revenge back in the World Cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it matters most, they strike back. Why not? I love it. I yeah. love it. Robin, who do you yeah. think is going to win that one? Uh, India, man. I think I'd say India. I'm back India to win that one. Yeah. Okay. I, I love it, guys. Uh, you guys aced this, uh, this entire segment. We're going to jump in to another one. But, you know, before we sort of go into our next cool segment, and we won't get there yet, Dale, because uh, Robin's done this before, but just your thoughts about the World Cup. How special a time is it for a cricketer? Because uh, both you guys have, have been a part of, of, of World Cups, and, and there's a lot of history, obviously, behind it, Dale. Listen, World Cups are amazing, you know, and it's only once you, <clears throat> once you finish playing them that you look back and you realize that what a special time and how, how awesome it is to be a part of, you know. All the best players in the world, it's like kind of going to the Olympics, really, you know. Yeah. There, there's not many opportunities where you get to see all the teams, but you get to see them if you play against them. Um, I was doing the commentary last year, and it was, it was yeah. amazing. So I got to watch all the games, you know, um, and not just yeah. play. That was pretty special. Uh, it is pretty special. Um, and I think World Cup is – you get good bragging rights with the World Cup, you know. Like, That's true. Uh, it's, it's a thing that I missed in my career. I never won a World Cup, uh, 2020 or a, a World Cup, um, 50 yeah. World Cup. Um, so I miss those bragging rights, you know. So I'm, I'm pushing that mm. uh, that other guys, if they if they get an opportunity, go there, you know, make the most of it and and and, and give it a good shot. Because you want to sit here like me, 40 years old, and you and you you're <laughs> wishing, you know, if you're going to it, go and win it, you know. They they're wonderful to be a part of. There's a lot more you can brag about, uh, that's for sure, Dale. But the man next to you is a modest man. He's won one, but he doesn't brag about it. Let's brag about it for him. Uh, Robin's obviously won it in 2007. Robbie, what is the most special part of uh, being a part of a World Cup, man? I, I actually completely agree with Dale. I think that you don't realize the enormity of, of, of that achievement of representing your country in a World Cup uh, up until that, that, that's gone by. Um, yeah. And I, remember, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I told you the story. Ajit Agarkar, uh, the to take off his, uh, <laughs> his medal, the World Cup. I, I told the story. Yeah, and and then he was the one who kind of brought it to our attention. He refused to take it off for the next five yeah. hours. The minute they put it on him, he wore it. I think he wore it even, even awesome. when he fell asleep. He wore it and till the next day morning. He was wearing it through the whole time. And we asked him, "Why are you wearing it?" He's like, "You guys don't understand what we've achieved." He said, "You know, for India, this is such a massive achievement. You have we have so many senior players who haven't achieved this yet, and this is in 2007. So, uh, and that's when you realize, no, man, you've done something really special." Right? Yeah, and uh, so for me, uh, I think just the honor of representing your country in a, in, at the at the highest stage. Uh, I think in in, the, in in cricket, that's the biggest stage that you can re yeah. represent your country at. Yeah, and to be able to do that is phenomenal, personally and uh, professionally. And I think uh, it's something that every player would 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 take absolute pride at. Yeah, I think yeah. it's going to be a humdinger of a tournament as well. But Dale, you know, coming into the tournament, uh, Robin said on paper. That India are looking at the, uh, the strongest squad. Obviously, Bumrah today has been ruled out of the World Cup. Does India sort of feature as the strongest side on paper for you? Or who's your sort of favourites going in? I think all the teams, you know, all the teams, they, they, as, long as, they, as long as they're playing red-hot cricket going into the World Cup, then, they, then they're, they're a team to, to be worried about. All the teams are pretty evenly matched now, I'm not going to lie. Like, um, on yeah. paper, you look at the names and then you look at the matchups and everything. And it really boils down to who turns up on the day. Um, yeah. that's going to be the teams to watch and who, and who discover the conditions yeah, the, the, the thing about last year's World Cup at Dubai was um, which was a little bit of a concern especially if you played in Dubai was it with the toss you know if you won the toss you almost like 70-80% yeah. of the game was, was, was won you know I feel Australia will be slightly different you know um, they're good batting decks but you can still get balled out you can get you can be 40 for 5 you know on those wickets um Deciding to bat first, you know, uh, so it's, it's, uh, it will be a little bit more evenly matched this time. 
um, yeah. when it comes yeah. to the pitches and the, and the conditions. And the, lo- the one other thing that I want to add about a World Cup and being a World Cup winner, and Robbie's right, is that when you play a series, like South Africa's playing against India right now, and you win a series, I think that's, a, that's it's important for the players. They can win the series. They can say, oh, we went to India and we won a series. But when yeah. you win a World yeah. Cup, your country seems to win too. You know, it's like yeah. everyone then goes to work on Monday and they go, yeah. we are World Cup winners. You know, yeah. Yeah, the players won it, but we are World Cup winners. I can guarantee you right now, if we won the series against India, no one's going to work next week, Monday, saying, I'm a, I'm a series winner against India. The players will. But when you win a World yeah, Cup, yeah. then it feels like the country has won. You know, so it really is a different Yeah. It's a different thing. Yeah, both it's times, a great point. Both times you contribute to you representing your country. It feels like a World Cup just. Yeah, yeah, it becomes a celebration for, and sometimes you've got those bragging rights for the next four years, I guess, as well. And uh, it is special, I guess, for every single player. But uh, uh, guys, on that note, we're going to move into our final segment. Uh, Robin's done this before, Dale, so I'm just going to explain it to you. It's a pari match, kisme kitna head down, which basically means we're going to take two names, uh, throw them together, and you're going to have to pick one name or one situation that you love more than the other. So uh, we're going to start with. Jaspreet Bumrah versus Shaheen Afridi. Uh, Robin, you've called this one before. So, Dale, who's got uh, the might in this one? Who wins this contest for you? Bumrah versus Afridi. Well, Afridi, because Bumrah's injured right now. <laughs> yeah. Easy one. Fine. What about a fully fit Bumrah versus a fully fit Shaheen Afridi? Both, oh, both are- no, actually, both injured. You're right. You're right. Um, oh, Bumrah's. Bumrah's. Oh, that's a tough one. I like the left arm, though. I must be honest with you. I like the left arm. So, I'm... I, I love Bumrah, but left arm lefties are so rare. Okay, I'm going to go with the left yeah. arm. Go with the Just for this one. Awesome. Yeah. If it was a nice. right arm bowler, I would have gone with um, Bumrah. We'll, we'll put a mirror in front of Bumrah and turn him into a left armor for the, for the screens at least. But uh, Robbie, for you, <laughs> Hardik Pandya versus Glenn Maxwell. Uh, two explosive all-rounders. Who's got uh, the number for you? Is that Robin? Yeah, yeah. 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 we oh, go, oh, go, go to Hardik. 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 Hands down. Yeah. Uh, Dale, what about you? Uh, Maxi versus uh, Hardik? I'm going with Hardik. He's, uh, yeah. he's, he's a bowling all rounder, you know, and a seeming all rounder. Maxi, he bowls a little bit of off spin. Doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Love it. Just brush him aside for those offies, those dirty offies. Why not? Uh, speaking of. A bit more wiliness to the uh, to the spin department. Uh, Dale, let's start with you. Hasaranga versus Rashid Khan. Who wins that battle for you? Whoa. Yeah, probably Rashid. Yeah. 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 Just, oh, yeah. Good bowler. Mm. Robin. Rashid. Rashid to me as well. Rashid. Nice. Uh, okay. We're gonna go next to a batsman versus a bowler. Both ranked number two in the world at the moment. Uh, Dale, let's start with you. You've got uh, Sky Surya Kumar Yadav. Versus Tabre Shamsi. <laughs> yeah, sky. I'm going Sky. I'm going Sky right yeah. now. Right now, I'm going Sky. He's yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Robbie, he is like the Sky. He's everywhere at the moment. So Sky. Yeah, he's he's in unreal form. He's in exceptional form at the moment. Okay, guys. Uh, over to the opening batters and Robin. Therefore, we start with you. Josh Butler versus Babar Azam. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'd go we didn't Joss think this would be easy. Joss Butler, T20 cricket, the boss. Yeah, Joss the boss. Yeah. What about what about you, Dale? Yeah, I'll probably go with Joss too. Um, yeah, just he will, yeah. <laughs> Going with Joss. Do, doesn't need words. Butler doesn't need words. It's just, so yeah. difficult. They play, yeah. They're so they're such different players. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Joss is just yeah. Yeah, sheer impact. Incredible to watch. Uh, okay, sticking with another opener's battle. Uh, KL Rahul versus Quinton de Kock. Uh, Dale, you want to take this one first? Ooh. Oh, I got to go with my boy. I'm just going to, yeah, first I'm putting to. it out there that I am a better fisherman than him. He said the other day that he's a better <laughs> fisherman than me, but all lies, just rumors. Um, but I'm going with Quinny. Quinny, left hander. I've bowled to him before. Yeah, he's, he's a weapon, huh? Robin? Yeah, I'll go Rahul, man. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Fellow Bangalore boy, you can't ditch him now, can you, Ravi? Yeah. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Never. Uh, okay, um, let's cut to the chase. Uh, tell us your favorite opener in the world at the moment, guys, and your favorite all-rounder at the moment. Uh, Robin, let's start with you. My favorite opener in the world? Yeah. 
Uh, well, uh, I'd have to say Josh Butler. Yeah. Um, just so that I, I say someone who's not Indian. <laughs> Good call. Safe uh, zone. I like it. I'll, more than, no, just more than that, I just feel like oh, most of my answers are always Indian based. So like, I know. Let's shift it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Best all rounder? Oh, man. Um, wow. Uh, that's actually a tough point. Yeah, current form, Hardik Har- up there for you? Hardik, yeah, Hardik. As in Hardik was the first thought, but I was just thinking who yeah. else besides, besides him. Yeah. Uh, but no, Hardik. For sure. Uh, Dale, what about for you? Openers and uh, and all rounders. Yeah, there's so many good openers. Um, yeah. uh, currently, I like what Rizwan's doing. He just looks so good. Yeah. You know, he's just he's also he's he's jumped up to m- number one in the world. But I like the way good that idea. he goes about his business. You know, he's very energetic. Um, he's always looking for runs. He plays all the shots. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So currently, I'm enjoying watching him play. You know, and it, it changes. You know, because by the time the World Cup comes around, I might be enjoying somebody else more. But right now, I'm in, yeah. I've, I've enjoyed watching him bat. Um, and from an all-rounder point of view, I, I like Hardik. You know, I like it when he bowls yeah. too. Um, and since being becoming captain in the IPL, he looks again. He looks a different player. Like Robbie when Robbie hit Bradley over his head. Since Hardik <laughs> became captain, I just yeah. it looks like he's a different player. So those, yeah, yeah. Those, well, that's what I see. You know, maybe they, the players themselves feel differently. But yeah, Hardik just looks a different player since he was handed over that captaincy. Um, I'm a big fan. Yeah, I think a lot of people are. I think the maturity that came with it, the uh, the air of confidence that he's carrying now, it's it's just exceptional to watch uh, how they go about the way he's finishing games uh, for India at the moment. Okay, let's just take it up a notch for a couple of questions here, guys. Uh, uh, AB versus Virat uh, Robin. Who wins mm, that battle? For me, for me, AB. No. Yeah, yeah. I, I I kind of thought you'd say that, uh, Dale. What about you? Yeah, I've played against AB since I was eleven, so I'm I'm going with <laughs> with AB. He's uh, <laughs> he, he was and, and still is ridiculous. I think if he had to take a bat right now and go and bat, he hasn't played cricket in in months. He would still set the world on fire. So yeah, De Villiers. Yeah, he's a he's a fan favorite as well. Okay, guys, uh, Sachin versus Jacques Callis. Uh Dale, let's start with you here. <laughs> Yo, that's a rough one, but <laughs> Callis also, also bowled. Eh? Callis also had like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but Sachin was such a machine with all the pressure and everything like that. Um, more double hundreds. I'm going, I'll go with Sachin. I'm going with Sachin. Yeah. yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Robin, for you? Yeah, Sachin. My hero. Man. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, he's just, for us, I think, in India, I think just seeing the evolution of the game through his eyes and the pressure he was under as well. Uh, Okay, we're going to put the pressure away from you guys and go to some fun territory here. Uh, Dale, let's start with you. Surfing or fishing? Oh. (laughs) Can I fish whilst I surf? That's the big one. Um, I would love to see that. I think the world would like to see that, Dale. I'm going to Instagram post it tomorrow. Now, watch, just because of you guys. (laughs) Awesome. Um, I'm awesome. Go Watch out for that. Okay. I'm going fishing. I'm going fishing. I You're love fishing. fishing. Okay, I was born to fish. Yeah. 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 It seems that way. Okay. We'll just move that to one more level. If you could surf with Tony Slater or skateboard with Tony Hawk, what would you pick? Surfing. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll tell Kelly Slater he's a lucky man as well. Yeah. Um, Robin, red, <laughs> red ball cricket versus white ball cricket, Robin. Oh, man. Uh... <laughs> Red ball cricket. Any reason? I I, I, I I believe I'm from that cusp generation where I've seen the like I've seen I grown up playing red ball cricket and I've seen yeah. the onset of white ball cricket and T20 cricket and seeing it evolve into T10 cricket today or evolve and evolve based based on people's perceptions. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I feel like red ball cricket because I think it really tests you out as a as a as a as an athlete. Uh, yeah. Test your mind, test your abilities, your skills. So for me, I think just overall, as as a purist of the game, I I really enjoy those challenges. Like I'm I mean, gonna, like yesterday's I, wicket, right? Yeah. Like yesterday's wicket would have been such a great wicket to be able to be able to bat and score runs on in a yeah. test match or in a one-day game, where you really have to fight it out as a batter, right? And go out and fight it, like 
catch a few blows, you know, survive, play, play a little bit of ugly cricket. The kind of joy that that brings to me brings to me as a batter is is immense. So for me, I feel like only red ball cricket gives you that. Yeah, the grind and great. Uh, Dale, what about you? Red yeah. red versus white ball cricket. Yeah, red ball. Every day, um, I'm like Robbie. You know, all my heroes when I was growing up all bowled with a red ball in their hand. Yeah, it's the lo- only the last ten to twelve years or whatever it is, fifteen years that 2020s come around and we see a new group of youngsters that were once, you know, five or six years old who are now 20, 21 that are now yeah. their heroes or red ball, uh, white ball players. But like Robbie, myself, our generation who basically just retired. Our heroes yeah. are all Red Bull players. You know, they even played the shortest yeah. format with the Red Bull, you know. Yeah. Um, and just like Robbie, the, it tests you out. The longer version of the game is, is all up here. You know, it's, it's all up here. Yeah. It's, not, it's not that sixes and fours. Yeah. It's, and if you can use this, you'll go a long way in life, not just in cricket, you know. Yeah. yeah that's, what that, that's what that teaches you. So, yeah, Red Bull. Yeah. 100%. I agree with you. I'm a purist uh, from the same generation, so I'm totally going to agree with you there. Uh, okay, this is, a, this is an interesting one, uh, Dale. I've, I've sort of turned to a few birdies who've given me a little something on you. Uh, Steers milkshakes or a cooked meal from Quinton? <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I, I prefer cooked meals. Eh? Way too many years on the roads eating rubbish and uh, yeah. you know all that kind of stuff. A home-cooked meal. Nice. can make that. Okay, he can he can cook the fish that I catch for him because he can't fish. So I'm just putting it out. <laughs> really upset about just that. Just putting it out. Like, Quinton, yeah, you cannot fish, huh? but you can cook. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So we're going to see a, a good fish caught by you on a surfboard, which you'll then hand over to Quinny, who'll cook it and then eat the meal. So we're going to see this the sequence of that Right there. That's a YouTube TV show for us right there. There you go. I'll take, I'll take the commission off you at some point, Dale. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll write the scripts, don't worry. Uh, okay, final Thanks. thing. Uh, honest opinions quickly from you, Dale. You've had a lot of hairstyles over the years. They've matured with age, maybe. Uh, which one was your favorite? Honest opinion. This one that I've got right now. It's my favorite one. He's probably the only cricketer in the world whose hair has grown longer as, his, as he's gotten <laughs> yeah. older. <laughs> That's true. Dude, you must see it, I promise you. I, let it, I cut it the other day. I'm going to let it go quickly. But I cut it the other day. It was down... Oh, it was so long. This is this is still no short. Yeah. Jeez, Danny. This is still short. Looking good, I cut it. Looking good, looking good. It was it was like yeah. This looks really like, nice. You shouldn't be dying it, bro. Yeah. I'm very proud of my hair. You know, most guys as they get older they lose their hair. I'm getting longer hair, you know? Yeah, man. That's exactly your, what you're you're like you're going in the direction. <laughs> yeah. You're doing, a, you're doing a little Benjamin button on all of us. Well done. Thank you. Is Good stuff. Uh, as well? <laughs> yeah, actually, that's true. <laughs> guys, I've got to come to you. Uh, if, if you both didn't play cricket for a living, what would you guys have done? Uh, Robin? Something sport related, some other sport, tennis, maybe hockey, I don't know, some other sport for sure. Yeah, your, your cool roots would have taken you to hockey for sure at some point as well, right? Yeah. Dale, what about you? Um, also, probably something in sport. Um, yeah. I, mean, I wanted to be a professional skateboarder at that age, but yeah. entirely honest with you, I would probably be, probably have been a photographer. That's that's the li- yeah. That's what I wanted to study and what I studied when I was playing cricket. So, yeah. 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 Oh. Awesome. That's, cool. that's an interesting one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and guys, know, cricket South Africa got a thing with UCT where they said if you guys, if you finish what it is that you're studying, then then cricket South Africa will pay for it. But if you pull out. Then you have yeah. to pay. You have to pay the university. So a bunch of guys started a whole bunch of different, you know, whatever it was, and yeah. uh, some of them, some of them got through. You know, uh, JP, wow. sports management, Mone Morkel, a bunch of guys. They, you know, they studied whilst they were playing. Yeah, that's actually yeah. a great deal. That is a yeah. great initiative. Yeah, yeah, it was really uh, clever. And that, that's one I hope a lot of other boards actually pick up on because it's, it's fantastic. It gives you a uh, life beyond cricket as well after you retire. So uh, yeah, kudos, great stuff. Um, and finally, guys, I've got to, got to ask you one prediction tip for the T20 World Cup in Australia. It can be an out there prediction, anything that's at the top of your mind, uh, something that, that, that our fans would love to hear on Parimai. Hmm. Robin, do you want to start? Uh, one prediction tip. Uh, wait uh, till 
the toss has been done before you decide your 11s uh, is 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 my thing don't decide it before the 11s uh, before the toss happens so uh, yeah. make sure you're free as uh, free half an hour 45 minutes before the match so that you can focus and channelize your energies and and, and make your 11 Dale, any big predictions? Are we going to see a 300 maybe at the World Cup? Uh, any massive out there predictions? Um, jeepers, I don't know. Let's go with the lowest ever T20 score. Oh, nice one. Okay, let's let's yeah. go one notch higher. What do you think that low score could be? I need to know what the lowest score is first before I can predict what it is. Stats can't help you there. Unfortunately, I don't have a stats guy in my ear now. Give us, just give us a low number. We don't know what the low score is, but give us a random number. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say somewhere around, um, uh, well, the lowest World Cup. So I'm going to say some under 70. I'm going to say like okay. 68. 68. Somewhere 68. There. You're going yep. precise. I like it. Uh, guys. I uh, just got to say a big, big thank you for all the precise predictions, uh, all the randomness as well. And Dale, we're going to be following you to see whether you're on that surfboard with a fishing reel and then uh, cut to Quinny at some point as well. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram live tomorrow. I'm on my board. Love board. it. Love it. Watch this space. Dale Stain will be on a surfboard <laughs> uh, with the hair flowing, uh, with some fish to be caught as well. But Robbie, Dale, uh, thanks a lot, guys. That was a lot of fun, man. Thanks, guys. Cheers, man. Yo, Robbie, Cheers, thanks. I'll catch you this weekend. Hey. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you this week. Yeah, bro. cool. My that is awesome, man. Really for, for all the fans <laughs> that are out there, guys, uh, get these predictions going. Uh, you've you've got a lot of insights from Dale, from Robbie as well, and and those can go towards the World Cup. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can pick up on from what they said. But from uh, from Party Match, from Robin, from Dale, from myself, Sohail, uh, it's a uh, goodbye from us, and you'll see us soon enough. Bye. Bye. See you guys. <laughs>